What's up guys? Now after I put out my breakdown on Kyoji Horiguchi, I mentioned things about his left hook and I got comments asking what is the difference between throwing it with palm facing down and palm facing in. And I will also be covering palm facing out or the casting hooks, the Russian hooks. Now generally, it just comes down to preference. What feels better? What is just natural for you? What are the little changes and differences in the person's body when they're throwing it? that makes it better for them. All three of these hooks are different in four things, but the first two things I'm gonna talk about are the most important. The other two can be modified to be effective in any hook. So the four things are, number one, injury proneness. Number two, distance and range of the hooks and where they are effective. Number three, ability to get around guards and blocks. And this also ties into distance. And number four, the shoulder covering your chin or the defensive mechanics of the hooks. Those are the only real natural differences other than preference from these three hooks. Now, I would say the palm facing in hook is the most versatile. You could throw it in close, you could throw it at mid range, and you can also throw it far range, right? And it's the least likely to injure yourself because all the knuckles are in a column rather than in a row. So the chances of landing with the back two knuckles is way less than the other hooks. Now, when you're throwing a palm facing in, you could throw it out, but this kind of hook is more effective than the other two when it's in close. Right? You could throw this hook in close and not injure yourself and you'll have more power there. And when I talk about injury proneness, what can injure the hand? It's usually when you land with the back two knuckles without landing with the front two. If you can land with all the knuckles at once or just the front two knuckles, the index and the middle knuckle, that is the best way to not injure yourself, right? But it's when you just clip them with the last two. Usually this happens when they're moving or when you're throwing the wrong type of hook. So when you're throwing it palm facing in, the knuckles are in a column rather than a row. So you're able to land with all of them at once at almost any distance. But the farther out you throw the hook, the more effective it will be to turn the palm when it's facing in, turn it down and then out. The mid range I would say is better for the palm facing downward because you could try this even when you're watching the video. Make the form of the hook palm facing down. Move it in and then move it out. Look at which knuckles are pointing outward. The closer in you go, naturally the back two knuckles are gonna be facing out more, meaning they're gonna land first on the target before anything. The further out you put out the hook, look what happens to your knuckles. The first two knuckles are the ones that reach out more, right? So these are gonna be the first ones that usually will catch the target. And then with the casting hook, which is palm facing outward, where your thumb is literally facing down, this is for extreme far range, right? Your arm is gonna be almost completely extended when you throw these. And when you throw these, almost every single time you're gonna land with the index knuckle, you could also land with the middle knuckle at the same time. So that is just far range. You can't really throw that in close with any power. And there are ways to injure your knuckles even when you're throwing the palm facing down hook at like mid or long range i would say in general you hurt your knuckles way more throwing this punch because if the target moves back just a little bit you could just clip them with the back knuckles they get away from the front two knuckles and they enter the range for the back knuckles to land and that's not what you want and the reason why i say that can happen a lot more often than let's say palm facing in is because the only way you're really going to land with the back two knuckles is if the opponent goes down right and then you catch them in range with only those back two knuckles now the reason why this is less likely to happen than palm facing down is in general if you're fighting an opponent they are more likely to move back on punches than down on punches right look at all the fights look at it in sparring if you ever sparred before it's just a natural instinct to get away from things, right? Instead of ducking on them. Ducking on them takes a lot more experience. You see a lot of high level boxers do that, but even with them in general, most people will move back on punches. So with that, you are more likely to catch them with the back two knuckles if you're throwing a palm facing down. You can look at guys like Triple G. Triple G throws almost all his hooks with palm facing down, but most of his hooks are coming at mid to long range. And here's another thing, he goes right over the guard. That is another thing people like about the palm facing down and the casting hooks, the Russian hooks, are that it gets around guards a lot easier at far ranges. The palm facing in hook, it can get around the guard at close range pretty much only because of the way the wrist is formed, right? You throw it at long range, it's very hard to get all the way through in there because the forearm and also the wrist can get caught by the glove or the arm of the opponent when they are blocking. Whereas palm facing downward, you can even form it yourself. There's more room to get around guards, around blocks, and the casting hook is even more so. So that is another effective thing. And with the Russian hook, this is also a lot better defensively because naturally when you throw this, the shoulder rotates up and it actually covers your chin a lot better than the other two punches. And the reason for that is when you're forming the, the Russian hook, the elbow naturally raises upward, causing the shoulder to cover your chin a lot better. Now, this is a little bit of preference, but I also get this a little bit more when throwing it palm facing down 
palm facing in, I gotta really force my elbow up there. It doesn't come up naturally as much as the other two. So maybe defensively, palm facing down, and especially palm facing out, the shoulder covers your chin a lot better. So people that think that throwing a different type of hook is not a technical thing, it could be very technical in precision, right? When to switch up on your hooks, knowing the distance when to throw them, and also when they're blocking, how far are they? How am I gonna get around this? Am I gonna throw the Russian hook? Am I gonna throw the palm facing down? I mean, there's a lot that can go into this. The hook game in itself can be a very technical game. So that's the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you enjoyed my content, make sure to subscribe. I was going to upload my Michael Bisping Legacy video, but it's taking a little bit of time. I'm not finished with it yet. And I just want to get it right. You know, I want the quality of it to be at its best. So I'm putting a lot of work into that one. So my next video will be the prediction video for UFC 225. Be ready because for this prediction video, I am breaking, I guess, my record in a way of how many fights I'm actually covering in one prediction video. I'll be covering 11 fights, mainly because of how stacked the card is. So be on the lookout for that. I'm gonna include timestamps for those who wanna just go to the fights that they're more looking forward to. But that's gonna come out tomorrow. And my Michael Bisping Legacy video is gonna come out in a few days. I don't know exactly when, but hopefully it'll come out the end of the week. So be on the lookout for that as well. And again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.